Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In today's lecture, we will see architecture of Postgres. So let us start with the topic. So first and foremost, there is a client connects to the database and uh, you can see here uh, there is a client tool which is uh, which can be a user or that can be a application anything that can be so whenever there is a, a request which comes from the uh, client so it will first go to the postmaster process so you can say postmaster is the first process which gets started in the postgres so which can act as a super, super supervisor process as well that means it, it will monitor the other process the other background process possibility is to uh, monitor it so in case if it uh, it is someone uh, manually kills it or maybe it gets uh, stopped so postmaster will go and start the process in the background so it will act as the listener as well it will review each and every connection which is coming coming to the database server and it is responsible for authentication and authorization as well so once the authorization and authentication is done for the client connection so it will spawn a new process for in the postgres okay so so there will be a uh, each process for each uh, connection in the background okay so now this master has handed over the uh, the connection to the postgres it has invoked the postgres uh, process now the further part is called memory segment where actually your all the data is updated everything happens over here only okay and so this part is called memory segment so in memory segment the major area which is very critical is shared buffer so this is actually the area where all the your read and write happens on the database server suppose you you want to read the data from the table the data from the physical disk will come into the shared buffer then it will provide you the output okay so it's very important and the second one is other buffers there are c log buffers and there are val buffers so val buffer is basically is known as a transition uh, log buffers which is also called as write write ahead log so whenever there is a change which occurs in the database server okay so it will record that changes so that in in case of any failure or something it will try to recover that so basically it stores that data that change data for recovery purpose which internally internally uh, it gets saved the data into the physically into the val segments so let's see log buffer is basically uh, it is used uh, to maintain the commit log pages so this we don't need to worry as of now so postgres internally takes care of it so in other buffers we have a uh, work memory we have maintenance work memory and temp buffer so work memory is basically it is used for a kind of a single sort or hash table and maintenance work memory it is used for a maintenance work such as vacuuming or there can be a huge index maintenance activities on the database server in that case that will be used and the other one is temp buffers which is used for any kind of a temporary tables which is used in the at the session level to uh, to uh, any kind of sort or any kind of hashing on the table in that case it will be used these are the memory segments now let us move to the uh, other background utility processes uh, in the postgres so so let us see well writer so these are all the utility process so this you can see in the background as well so all these processes are present to do some task which are assigned to them so in this case you can see well writer is used to write the val buffer to the val files so you can see at the right side there is a disk so this disk you can see physically okay and this val writer will be present in inside the memory so whenever you do uh, uh, the uh, ps ef pipe grip postgres you can see this process in the background if you are running on the linux system <clears throat> so val writer will write the data from val buffer to the correct to the val file and uh, bg writer is basically uh, it will 
periodically writes the dirty buffer from the data file uh, from the uh, dirty buffer which is present in the shared buffer to the uh, data file then we have the check pointer is invoked every five minutes or maybe max uh, when the max well size is exceeded in that case it is invoked then we have a logging process a collector it collects all the logs suppose if there is any error at the uh, server level any background uh, abnormal activities has happened it will log like a kind of a general logging and all it will take care so it's stats collector is basically it is collecting the information about uh, server activity or maybe uh, which is necessary for the optimizer so logging uh, so auto vacuum is basically uh, it is used for vacuum operations on blotted tables if it is uh, on. Archive is basically uh, to copy the val files to the specified directory. You can see uh, there is a val files. Okay, so val writer will copy the files from val buffer to the val files physical, and then uh, bg writer will copy the files from the shared buffer, whatever the dirty pages are there dirty buffer which will flush to the physical data files and the archival will copy it to the archive files now uh, i have taken a screenshot of uh, the all these uh, background processes as as well as physical files from uh, the database server itself for your reference so that you can relate your uh, the what is exactly happening in the background so this is theoretical part you can see uh, what happens in the background as well like in the looks at the server level so you can see the top one is basically it is the processes which we looked after correct so these are the process which are uh, utility process you can see logger process uh, there is a checkpoint uh, checkpoint process background bg writer while writer auto vacuum and you can say while sender in case of replication there are a few other process while sender while, while receiver and all that so at the below you can say uh, we have seen uh, the physical uh, files location so base will contain your all the databases uh, which are present on the database server it will contain inside this directory okay so whatever actual data is present inside this directory so archive basically it will copy all the val logs uh, val logs from the pg val to this thing and pg wall is your <coughs> so where from the val buffer it will copy val writer will copy it to this location so that's all for uh, today guys Hope you like the video. So if you like, subscribe to the channel and you can comment uh, about the video as well. And you can suggest what videos you want me to cover further in future. Thank you guys.